Wanna give all praises to the Mosai, how about Shem, or Shai, you know, double honors to the elders that rule well and salutations to the Akims that pushing out this word in truth and sincerity. So today, going into the topic, you know, you're outside in the streets doing the works and most people, you know, we preach the word, you know, about the Israelites and the book is for the Israelites, you know. So some somebody might walk up to you and, you know, they find you harsh or you, you might say it's racist concerning Israel, you know. And like people like to say, you know, it's one blood, you know, it's one blood. Whether we are one blood and the same blood, you understand? But really and surely, yes, I agree to them when they say all are well, we come from one blood, but you know, your Bashem, your Shai, high portion, you understand? So, this is a little, some cuts to, to tell them about, you know, yeah, it's one blood, but it's one people. Your Bashem, your Shai, dealing with. All we created, all people. So, we are going to the scriptures concerning it. Oh, this is Acts 17 26. He said, and had. And had made of one blood all nation. Yeah. So we're not lying, we're not denying the, the fact that yeah. All men was made of one blood. So that way he say. And had made of one blood all nation of men to dwell on the face of the earth. And had determined the times before appointed and the bones of their habitation. So that is the difference. The bones of their habitation. He gave everybody their portion. You understand? But who is your Bashem your Shai portion? That is the thing. Who are you dealing with? You understand? So let me go to um Deuteronomy 32, verse 8. This is Deuteronomy 32 verse 8. He said, When the Mosai had divided to the nation their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, right? He said the bonds of people according to the numbers of the children of Israel. So you see, the Mosai say, When he divided the nation, their inheritance, so he divided every man to his own accord. So, that why I have like Esau, Edomites, Elamites, the Edomites, the Elamites, the Moabites, the Amorites. He gave everybody their inheritance. You know, he gave everybody their portion. Now going back to the Acts seventeen twenty six, where I read, he said, "When the Mosai divided the nation, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bonds of the people according to the to the number of the children of Israel." Right? He said, For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is his lot of his inheritance. So the Lord's people is Jacob. And when you talk about Jacob, Jacob going back to Israel, because Jacob's name was changed into Israel. He said, This is his lot and inheritance. So out of all the people on the face of the earth, the most I teach chosen Israel. So that's why we are the only push this word, he's pushing this word for Israel. It's ready to, do, to, to wake the, the elect, you know, and show Israel a transgression because only one people could really sin is the Israelites because only they was given the law, not all nations. So what, while other brothers and Achaeans, or you see other camps, or they pushing the wood, you know, they're pushing it, you know, concerning Israel, you know, and people might come up and find it harsh and why salvation is not for everybody, and you know, they talk all kind of sorts of craziness, you know what I mean? But facts is facts. Like he said, the Lord's portion is, is Israel, you know? His lot of his inheritance. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So, plain out, scripture show you. Let me go into 1 Kings 8. Just 8.15. Kings. Alright. Alright. Alright, this is first Kings eight fifty three. He say for thou 
did separate them from among all people of the earth. So he did separate the Israelites among all people because he, he said that is a portion. He make them separate. There is a peculiar people to him. That everybody is a peculiar people to the Most High, only the Israelites. So, 1 Kings 8.50, she say, For thou did separate them from among all the people of the earth to be thine inheritance, as thou speakest by the hand of Moses thy servant, when thou broughtest our fathers out of Egypt. Oh, Yahweh, our power. You know what I mean? So he did. So he did separate them amongst all people. Go to the books, first chronicles. I know some other precept to prove. First chronicles sixteen eleven to thirteen. So this is first chronicle chapter sixteen eleven to thirteen. He say seek Yahweh about Shemi or Shai and his strength. Seek his face. No, 16. Right. He says, Seek Yahweh about Shemi or Shai and his strength. Seek his face continually. Remember his marvelous work that he had done, his wonders and his judgments of his mouth. O he seed of Israel, his servant. So he said, O he seed of Israel, his servant, not everybody. Right? He, children of Jacob, his chosen ones. So lucky. I'm doing a video there, but I'll call it back now. Yeah. Yeah. He say, right? So lucky for that. He say, um, he say, oh, he seed of Israel, his servants, he children of Jacob is chosen one. So Israel is his chosen one and everybody. So that way after we continue pushing this word is about Israel to wake up the hopeful elect. Now so Exodus 33. Go to the book of Exodus. 33. Exodus 33 verse 16. He say, For wherein shall it be known... Here that and I and thy people have found grace, have found grace in thy sight. Is it not in that thou goest with us? So shall we be separated, I and thy people, from all people that are upon the earth. And the son he says, So shall we be separated, I and thy people, from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. So yeah, the Israelites are supposed to be separated. From among so people might find they will say oh racist and racism and all sorts of things, but facts is facts. And there's nothing wrong being with a racist, you understand? Because the word is really mean to love and race really mean family. So when you put the word racist really mean to love your family. When you check out the etymology of that word. Racist, you know, but Esau again does demonize the words, you understand? And people might just fall out. So, really and truly, everybody in their own sense, really, are racist because they love their family more. It's facts they love their family more than they might love another brother. So, whether being a racist, but you know, people stumble out at words that why get to search up words and know. Racist and racism, there's many means to love your family. You know? Love your race, you understand? Because if you do so, Yes, I just always say, just watch nature itself. If a deer could go and play with lions in the jungle, no. <laughs> no, they don't do that. That's how the Mosai set the order from the beginning. That he wasn't to entangle with other seeds. You understand? That's how we're supposed to be in an order, but you know, man, disobey that order. So that's why we're waiting on your Shai Mashiach to you know, come back and you know, straighten back everything in order, you know. Waiting on the coming of your Shai, you understand? So, understand? That's when I say Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Bashem, your Shai, you know? Our Lord and Savior. You know, and I hope 
that has been edified by this video. So until then, you know what I mean? Say shalom.